Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, Tea with the Lady M. So for today, I thought I would go ahead and share my Dior unboxing with you, as well as my recommendation for tea. So I have two different teas. This is not sponsored, by the way. This is the Buckingham Palace Blend Garden Party um, from the English Tea Store. And I thought it was a really um, kind of floral fruit kind of tea. And I thought it tasted really good. It's um, $5.95 a bag. And for how much you get, which is a uh, four ounces or 113.4 grams. I think it's a really great substitute to the more expensive teas. Um, the premium teas, of course, being Fortnum & Mason, which is what the Queen and the Royal Family are known to drink. Uh, they have what's called the Royal Warrant, which means they are official tea dealers for the palace. Well, actually, I guess it's the king now. Ex pardon me. Um, anyway, the tea that I wanted to recommend is the Christening Blend. These are the tea bags. They are much cheaper to buy the tea bags than the loose leaf tea, although I highly recommend the loose leaf tea if you can afford it. Um, I got these in December and I'm only just now opening them. They're kind of lemony, a little bit citrusy, but they still have a very nice, pleasant uh, kind of taste. The description says it's de Jerling with muscated from, uh, sorry, the celebratory notes of muscatel from peak. Second flush de Jerling are lifted from bergamot tones to create an elegant and fragrant twist to the classic Earl Grey. Blended to mark the christening of His Royal Highness Prince George of Cambridge. So that's why it tastes a little bit lemony it's because of the Earl Grey notes and here it is again this box I love because it looks like a Tiffany blue so that's it for teas now the next one will be the uh, Dior unboxing so this just arrived from UPS and I'm very excited it is my first purchase from Dior like actual purchase. It has this beautiful card that contains a message I wrote to myself as well as the receipt. While I was hoping it would arrive in the Lunar New Year box, I'm very excited. It has the holiday packaging and it came with a metallic star. I've been looking to add one to my collection. Do you have any guesses as to what could be inside? Go ahead and leave your comment below. If you guessed that inside was a piece of jewelry, then you are correct. In a moment, you will see inside I have the Dior Elita New Year bracelet. It is the rabbit for the year of the rabbit. And I was very excited to see it wrapped so beautifully inside a jewelry case cloth as well as a pillow. The item is costume jewelry. The cord is red waxed cotton and the charm is gold plated. Now I'm not sure what the base metal is but I would assume it is a type of brass or potentially a sterling silver. There is a CD at the end and the dress bracelet is fully adjustable. If you end up purchasing costume jewelry or any jewelry as a matter of fact from Dior, please know that if the tags are not attached to the item, it is not returnable. And here I am modeling the bracelet. So the item I received is, as you can see from the video, and that came in this box, which is the holiday packaging. And I was pleasantly surprised because it was so beautiful. And I did get my first Dior Star Charm, which I was really excited for. So going back, I really liked the packaging. Um, this was, it came with the pillow and everything. And the bracelet that I got, let me show you up close, is the Dior Elita Lunar New Year Rabbit or Hair. It does have the wax um 
cord and it is gold plated. Now this charm is pretty small. It is gold plated on both sides, which is really nice. It has these two little beads and it does say, I don't know if you can read it. It does say Dior there. Last year, the bracelet did have a Christian Dior um, little charm on the end, the CD logo. It doesn't this year. I missed out last year and I am a big cat person. I am not born near the tiger or hare. However, I really liked rabbits and tigers. I'm a dragon if I have to admit what I am. Um, I'll be getting one next year. Um, I got the hair for a special meaning. Um, someone very close to me was born near the hair and I thought that it was just really cute and a fun way to have an everyday piece of jewelry. Now with that being said, it is very pricey. It is 370 US dollars. Um, it is sold out online. I did have to stock the website. It sold out initially in early January. Came back in stock last week. Um, you are able to contact a boutique. I believe the one in New York right now is the only one that still has it. And um, you can order it on, through the um, boutique directly. I did ask the customer service to see if they had any envelopes left. Unfortunately, they told me they're not sending out any red envelopes. So I will be trying to stock um, maybe my local boutique to see if they can send me one. Uh, I like that their hairs, I thought they are really cute. And I'm also going to be entering Trish Trins and um, Mel and Melbourne's giveaway. So we'll see. But nevertheless, I still did get the holiday packaging, which I am super excited for. So is the bracelet worth it? It depends. Jewelry is very subjective. To me, I was willing to pay a lot of money for something that is, again, probably not too expensive when you think about how it's made. This is cotton. This is gold plating. You're paying for the packaging and the experience of buying something from Dior. To me, again, I think it was worth it because I missed out last year. I do know that I'm going to get a lot of wear out of this. I do wear bracelets quite often. And um, because I'm half Asian, a lot of my family is very superstitious about red and colors in the new year. So um, I think that was ingrained for me from an early age. So should you buy it? It's t uh, completely up to you. I would say if you're going to get the cost per wear out of it, it is worth it. At least for me, because this is my first Dior item, I was super excited to um, have that experience of opening an item directly from them and getting that packaging. So only you can be the judge. Uh, if it's, again, something you, you will be using, I think it's something you should go for. YOLO. You only live once. Thank you so much for watching today's video. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. And I'll see you guys on the next go around. Bye.